YouTube, it is time for me to fill this space with a beautiful per pergola or pergola as some people call it. I'm going to show you exactly how we build it. So let's get cracking. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the timber that we're using for the pergola. This is Scandinavian fifth redwood and it's got a plain finish on it. Well, the reason we choose the redwood is it takes treatment very well. We treat the post to UC4 because that's going into the ground. It's got a lovely straight grain, fantastic finish on it. You can oil it, you can stain it, um, and you, in the end you'll have a fantastic pergola that will last you for years. If you need any more information on this timber, you can give us a call. We are more than happy to help. Thanks, Mark. So the first and most important job that you need to figure out is how high you want your pergola. So this customer has chose that she wants them 2.2, so 2 meters 20 high. So we're going to cut all four posts to that height. We're going to treat the ends and then we'll start working on the subframe around that. So we'll get chopping these and I'll speak to you a little bit later on. So it's now time to work on our edges, on our frame. So to do that, we're gonna mitre them. So we just use a little set square, which has a 45 degree and a 90 degree. We mark on the edge, we pick our fascia. This one's got less knots in it. I think it's a bit nicer, it's smoother. So we want this to be our front. So with our edges, because we want it to sit the post here, we need to cut this way and then on the other post we cut the other way and it'll sit in perfect. So how I've marked it out is I've got, gone to the edges with the 45 degree, I've marked it, I've then flipped it over, I've used a set square to mark the end and then I've drawn a line. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut all four uh, edgings of the frames uh, and then once that's done, we can then kind of build it into the post. Once it's on the post, everything works pretty quick. So we'll get cracking, we'll get these cut off, we'll get them treated. Now I've cut all my ends, you'll notice, oh, get it right, as I've cut through, the saw has not gone all the way through the beam. So the easiest thing that I've come up with is my little wood chisel, and I just push it through it. So get it just on the lip, and then push it through it, like that. Because if that's on it, when you come to put your frame together, it will not make it sit flush. So once I've got the, the little noggin off it, I then come along with my sander. And just tidy that up. Lastly, because we've exposed that fresh bit of timber, we always just treat the ends with a little bit of wood preservator. So we also get this from Emma, it's just cut ends preservator. We just dash it on there. And that will prolong the life of our pergola. Massively.
So that is the frame done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make sure all the legs are straight with the level. And as you can see, what I have done is I've countersunk the screws. So what I'm going to do on this one, I know some people use dowel, some people use, some people leave it like that. We're just going to use a little bit of wood filler and we're just going to go over the edges and we're just going to make this look like the rest of the garden. So the hardest bit, as you could probably see or tell, was getting the frame in. So I need a couple of people to do it. If you do it different to me and you know a better way, certainly let me know in the comments. But this is the way I've done it. It's a little bit fiddly, but I just find once you've got the first kind of legs and frame in, it's, it's easy then. But we have, we've mitered all our edges. So all the edges are mitered. The, the screws, screws are countersunk and the screws are also weatherproof so they come with this green protective coating on them and this will stop them rotting and rusting over time which will then weaken your joints so we're now going to work onto our rafters and i've got a nice little trick that i'm going to show you so i'm going to go and grab the timber and, we'll, and i'll crack on Okay, what I have done is I put the rafter on top to find out where it, where it wanted to sit. I've stacked them all together. Now, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but when I've sat the, the joist on top of the frame, I marked out a little mark here. Now my frame, is three meters exactly these are 3.5 so what I've done is I've put them on I put one on as a template I then marked it where I wanted which is from this to the end is 30 uh, 30 centimeters so 300 mil then what I do is I get my little set square I mark it Now we've got our grooves cut, I'm going to come along with the saw and I'm going to go up and down here quite a few times and then I'm going to show you my little trick. Now we've cut our guidelines down there and down there which is 45 mil I'm then going to repeat these lines over and over again once once they're kind of cut we're going to come along with our wood chisel and then we're going to chisel out all these little notches that we've created So now we've created all our lines, what we're going to do, we're going to come in with our wood chisel, we're going to work it in, once we've worked it in, we then pull it back. We go in the other side, we then pull it back. And the nodules come out like so, so I'm just going to repeat that process a couple of times. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in with my wood chisel, now we're going to use the flat bit against the grooves so we're going to slide it in all the way to the bottom and then this is where the magic happens so you literally just pull on it you go back in the other way as far down as you can go and then you pull it in again and then all these little nodules will come out as one same again pull it in there we go So 
So that's all our little nodules cut. Then what we do is just to tidy this up, we just go in with our wood chisel and we just tidy that up. Once we've kind of chiseled out any of the excess wood and just tidied it up, a good tip before you start lifting these up onto your, to your beams is get a bit of your off cut and just make sure that it sits in perfect, which as you can see, it does. So I'm now gonna work on the other side. Once that's done, we can put them up, but with these, I'm actually gonna cut in a nice little end for the customer, so I'm gonna cut in like a little diagonal cut just to make the, uh, the final touch a little bit nicer. So what we're going to do now is we're going to clean everything up. We're going to put some concrete screws from the posts into the, into the uh, ground. So what we did when we laid this patio, we put extra, extra concrete at the base was about 60 mil. So when we can put these pins, because all it needs to do is kind of hold them in place. The weight will look after everything. <clears throat> the customer's going to put, wrap some fairy lights around here, which I think will look super, super cute. Also, they're also thinking about putting some climbers, maybe like a honeysuckle or a, a jasmine, something that'll grow up. Maybe a grapevine, that'd look even better. So, we're done. What do you think? I think it looks amazing. Now, this, as Emma said earlier on in the video, is Scandinavian redwood. It's planed and it's got eased edges. Now, you can go for a cheaper option, but we thought, do you know what? Let's get a better one. Now, also what you can do is, if you wanted to, you could use this and you could put side kind of pieces on it. I think they call it lateral support, but the customer chose to go for this design. She was happy with it. I'm happy with it. It looks mint. Now, the price, what everyone wants to know. Now, if you was to go and look online and get one in this wood with this finish, you'd be looking at around about 1,200 quid. The general public will pay a thousand pounds, but if you've watched this video and you ring Emma and say, you've seen Lawn Stripes and Hedges video, she'll give it you for 750 quid. Don't tell anyone, it's secret, but I think it looks pretty sick. I'm more than happy with it. It's quite a simple build, but we have added some nice kind of features. We've sort of like made the, what's it called? What's it called? Mited edges. My, my brain's frazzled and not had any food today. We've mited the edges, we've put the um, rafters in, we've sat them in, we've pinned them underneath, we've put a nice curve on. Again, if you wanted to change the style of this, you can. The only additional cost is your delivery. Emma will deliver anywhere in the UK, but depending on your haulage, you can play around with it, but for 750 quid, that gets you this. This video will obviously help you build it yourself. It actually took me probably, what, two hours, babe? Two hours to build this, and we was filming, stopping filming. So I reckon, what do you reckon, Joe, we could smash this out in about an hour and a half? Probably an hour. Probably an hour at going at it, but you can take your time with it, even if it takes you all day. Now, for somebody to come out and fit this for you, you would be talking 1,500 quid. Someone said even two grand on the previous video that I did. But it's super easy to make, so just have a crack at it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to...
Smash that subscribe button and I will see you all. <laughs> she laughs at me all the time. See you all very, very soon.